Hello, my dearest friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel. And today we will be discussing and applying Marxist theory to text, of course. But first of all, I would like to pay attention to my jewelry. Why? Because it has to do with the bling bling of gold and riches and money itself. But I'm going to remove it because it's a bit annoying, is it? Uh, I mean, a few things at least. So, huh, I'm joking. Absolutely. Everything you see is totally fake. I have no gold on me, it's all just a cheap thing. But uh, what I meant to show was that Marxist analysis pays attention to material things and to how um, money or material goods exercise some sort of influence or can be a way of achieving power or a, an end in itself right um so we're going to read a fragment from a very well-known uh, novel and then we are going to discuss what it means in the meantime start thinking about your own life and how you read and if you pay attention to the materials and and the economy that goes into reading and writing okay my reading specs again because i can't do without and they cost money, no? Okay. The fact was that up to the last moment he had never expected such an ending. He had been overbearing to the last degree, never dreaming that two destitute and defenseless women could escape from his control. This conviction was strengthened by his vanity and conceit, a conceit to the point of fatuity. Piotr Petrovich, who had made his way up from insignificance, was morbidly given to self-admiration, had the highest opinion of his intelligence and capacities, and sometimes even gloated in solitude over his image in the glass. But what he loved and valued above all was the money he had amassed by his labor and by all sorts of devices that money made him the equal of all who had been his superiors. Do you feel that way? Have you ever felt that even though there are people who act as your superiors in life, if you had enough money to show off and to rub against their faces, you would feel superior? Is money really power? Okay, I don't know about that, but I'm going to tell you this. If we are to perform Marxist analysis, first of all, I have to tell you who the author is. And this comes from, there you go, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Um, you should read the whole novel because it, indeed it's, it's a wonderful piece to read and it has a lot to do with suffering, with uh, economic struggle, with uh, the class struggle and many of those things um, which you can study. It takes place in the 19th century. Uh, you can study all that and then apply it to the story in order to understand why this man felt this way. But Marxist analysis also deals with the materials in hand. So what is it? You're watching a video, but the video contains the image of a book. It is hardcover. Uh, it is beautifully embellished with golden letters in the cover. It's pretty thick. Uh, the paper is good quality and the printing is really good. Now, how much money do you need to acquire one of these things? Um, especially in my country, in these days, there's a debate about this uh, because there's a law which is being debated um, to be passed um, about 
bookstores and paper and and how we are going to sell or buy them and it's becoming a bit complicated but me being an elderly person I acquired this a number of years ago and so I've had it and treasured it uh, the same way I treasure all of my books and um, well this is a really good copy there may be better but um, it takes money to acquire books and to keep them and uh, so if you are not um, wealthy enough or if you haven't got the economic means to buy a book how would you get to read the book what would be the means you would use to get read the book would you try to get a PDF somewhere over there I'm not saying it but buy it um, okay We've all done a number of things when it comes to reading and especially if you're a student, you may need to read, so you will do anything it takes, right? <laughs> I understand. But basically, it is a good idea to analyze who would benefit from your purchase of a book. Is it the publishing house? Are publishing houses really... Um, powerful corporations? Um, is it an independent publisher? Is it an underground writer who gets practically no money for the books she sells? Um, okay, all of that goes into the Marxist analysis as well as the conditions in which the writer wrote and published his or her books. Okay, with all that being studied, um, and I hope this video has been useful for you. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment box below. I will leave you the label connection, whatever it is, to a larger video in which you will find Marxist theory developed by yours truly. And uh, well, if there's any question, any comment, as long as it's respectful, leave it in the comment box. Subscribe to the channel and smash the bell so that you receive notifications from now on. All my thanks and, and my love for you guys and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye!